Y'all ain't gonna tell the truth, man. Yes. But some of you were going through in your house. Yes. And you wasn't happy. Come on now. You remember that seducing spirit. Don't, don't raise your hand because I don't know about the truth. Come on. That was calling your name. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The one that you didn't have to argue with. The one that was making sweet promises. And the promises sounded pretty good based on what you were dealing with at that time. Y'all don't want me, you know, you, you begin to remember your old phone number. Old friends, old books, old faces, old places. That seducing spirit was calling you. It talks to you, you don't have to be treated like that. You better than that. They don't know what they got. Somebody love to have you. They'll buy me things and do things for me, put money in my pocket. I shouldn't have to be. Shouldn't have to act. Y'all act like you ain't never heard of me. Good looking woman like you, you ain't gotta be alone. Brother like you, you ain't gotta be alone. Come on out and play. Ain't nobody gonna know, don't tell on yourself. And then he makes sure he puts somebody in your pathway that pull your interest. Mm. Mm. After all, he ain't touched me for a month. I'm now, I could have some problem. Honey, what's going on here? I might be to put on the weight, but that still shouldn't change nothing. Yet. See, it called me. It's trying to call you out of covenant. You need to talk to her. And I said, I shouldn't have to talk to her about everything. I'm a, that's my wife. She, you know, she needs to know that I'm lonely. She, she, know, this, this, you, she needs to know these things. <laughs> mine don't belong to me, and I'm willing to get mine away. You know? Hers don't belong to her. And, and, and you know, I, I, I'm just trying to be real here. I'm tired of playing church with everybody. I'm, here when I'm, saying, I'm trying to talk to you about these manipulating spirits. To try to pull you, your anointed self, try to pull you out of the will of God, try to pull you out of the position of God. You ain't gonna get it like this nowhere else. They'll die for you. Like this. Come on, trying to persuade me to do evil, trying to persuade me to do wrong. But yeah, I mean, they be talking to you. You done been faithful and you done done everything you know and you tired and everybody else got somebody and look like you going to tell you what God at now. You know, look like God should have been blessed. And, but why are you the only one unhappy? I mean, I, I thought y'all don't want me to tell the truth. Y'all want to sit in here and act like it ain't the truth. This seducing spirit, how you blame me, God? For what you're going through, blaming God for the bad choice you made. Then we mad with God because God won't fix it. God said, I ain't started. Yeah. I'm just not gonna go to church no more because God, you know, He know everything. He all knowing. Pastor said that. He all knowing. So I know He, you know, He on the side. He all knowing. He, 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 he know I'm going through. And then He said, but He that begin a good work, I ain't beginning to work in your life. 
But you want to say, look past my fault, me, my knee. I need you to fix that. Don't make no difference. Change him, whatever you need to do. Just overthrow his will. Do it. Just change him. And God said, no, I can't do that because then I'll be operating in Jezebel. I can't control his will. I got to give him free will to choose. Guilty of it, man. We don't use the line. Don't let it strike you tonight. Man with God, cause He won't change or fix the mess we made. Okay, okay I'm gonna come out of here. Y'all can't handle that. Y'all ain't gonna get dissatisfied, people. It's dangerous to not be satisfied. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Paul said, "Godliness with contentment is great gain." Don't you get discontent? He will start offering you stuff that look good, but ain't good for you. He'll fix a menu that make your mouth water. He'll say exactly what you ordered. But it's not covered in his counterfeit. I'm about to get out of here. Somebody say dissatisfied people. The second party is jealous people. When you covet what others have. When you don't think they deserve what they got. When you want what they have. I didn't know that this was a form of jealousy. Now, I might hurt somebody here. Insecurity. Yes, sir. 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 Insecurity is a form of jealousy. So Jezebel can get in there and control you and manipulate you. And have you want to hurt somebody and do something crazy and, and, and get back at them and do the same thing that they're doing to you. You want to do it back to them. You want to take vengeance into your head now. Oh my God. Y'all know vengeance is the Lord, right? I know I'm the only one though. I ain't talking to y'all though. Cause I know y'all say with the say uh, uh, uh say say five feet with the Holy Ghost and with all kind of tongues ain't got fire. I ain't talking to y'all. I'm talking about Jones. No, you talking to me. Oh, no. So so I, I've got to I've got to be able to deal with my insecurities. Yes, Lord. Cause if I don't think that watch this, if I don't think that I fit the profile. I'm going to be intimidated by everybody else that comes in my circle. My God. Come on now. Right. My God. Can I tell y'all something? Now? I'm an old ugly country boy with a pot belly. But my wife got jealous one time. Come on, Shayla. I ain't lying. Oh, no. I wasn't, I wasn't all fat like this. I, I was just tough. Uh, you see, I got my walk back there when I said that. Let me tell you. Let me see, roll up on me. I've been trying to get to 501c3. Took care of it. And, and I ain't see this. Rolled up on me and with the snapping out and stuff and the kills me and one of the church members. I said, what's wrong with you? And with the tongue crazy, I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. What is this? I ain't never slept with nobody but you since we've been married. What is wrong with you? Gone crazy. Well, I'm telling you, all that time, y'all, we trying to get this 501c3 together. We never put that together. It's 57 pages. It been sent back five times. Because the language ain't right. And then when I told her about this young lady, I said, baby, if I was dealing with her, I would have herpes. She got herpes. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I said, I'm willing to go get tested, so that'll prove my innocence. That that's what it takes. But I can't deal with this. Because ministry calls me to have to deal with women. 
Now let me help y'all. This was way, way, way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.